Hello and welcome to the Coastal Living YouTube and Podcast channel. My name is Drew Dellinger. I'm a realtor here in the Grand Strand area of South Carolina. The Grand Strand area is around Myrtle Beach. That may be the easiest way to understand it. You'll hear me in a lot of my videos refer to it as the Grand Strand area. But yes, I'm a realtor here in the area and I have been doing these videos for a while now to try to just give back. There's a lot of the, question, a lot of the same questions that seem to come up uh, over the years as I've helped clients. And I just hope these videos have been helpful. They've been fun for me and I hope they have also been fun for you. So a little about myself, I moved down to the area about 20 years ago and for the last eight years, I have been a licensed real estate agent. I'm a very active agent and this is my full-time career. Uh, I have sold over $100 million worth of real estate. No team, just me as of today in 2023. Um, $100 million worth of real estate and helped hundreds of uh, clients over the years. I humbly say that, but I do think it's important to mention it just so you know who you're talking to here and that I've had a lot of experience helping folks. Uh, so if you have questions about the area, please reach out. I understand that you may be in the preliminary phases of your search and are considering areas all along the coast. I understand that. I respect that. I'm a non-push type of agent, so don't be hesitant to reach out to me and think, think you're, you're gonna be overly sold and pestered from here. That's not my approach. And if you were to reach out to my past clients, I would hope that they would uh, say the same thing. I just try to get all the info out there. I have a transparent approach. And hey, I'll be the first one to tell you if our area doesn't suit. I mean, you give me a, a list of your need. We'll talk through your criteria, your wants and needs. We'll talk, to, talk through your criteria. And I'll tell you what the area can do for you. I'm not going to try to to overly sell you, like I said, that's not my approach. And hey, I have other realtor partners up and down the coast, or friends, I should say, and folks that have helped other clients of mine over the years of these other areas, whether they were moving out or, you know, just like yourself maybe, end up in one of these other areas. I'd be glad to get you matched up with a realtor in one of these other markets that could help you. And uh, again, if that's where you should land, if it's another area, great. That's, hey, I want you to be happy with wherever you end up. Uh, settling at for your next relocation spot. So I want to throw up my contact info really quick so you'll have it and can reach out. Obviously it'll be listed below, but please reach out if, uh, if you'd like to talk through um, your situation and learn more about the area. And if these videos have been helpful to you, would you do me a favor and just uh, maybe comment below, like, share, get it out there so other folks can have that same resource. Um, I hope they've been helpful and I do appreciate all the support. If you hit that subscribe button, you'll actually uh, get a notification uh, as my videos, as my new videos go live. Maybe I'm discussing a topic that interests you or a community. If you'd like to get those notifications, uh, please hit subscribe. It does help and it does get these videos out there. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into today's topic in video now. And thank you so much. I look forward to helping you. Hey y'all, today I'm covering Seamaster located in Garden City Beach, South Carolina. Now, Garden City Beach is part of Merle's Inlet. I have covered that in some other videos. Not gonna jump in and, and dissect that today, but please make your way over to other videos if you wanna learn more about Merle's Inlet and what Garden City Beach is. Um, but Seamaster is an oceanfront condo building, direct oceanfront condo building, with both ocean view and oceanfront units. It's a mid-rise building. It's not one of the, the major high-rise type buildings. It's a mid-rise mid building. Um, and it's located pretty much right in the middle of Garden City Beach. Uh, just to give you an idea of that location, uh, you are located uh, 0.7 miles, I believe it is, away from the Garden City Pier. If you're familiar with where the Garden City Pier is, you're about 0.7 miles away to the north uh, of the pier. Now right there at the pier is where you'll find a lot of restaurants and other amenities, other things to do, um, right in that, you know, located in that area. Now as far as down where Seamaster is, or I should say up where Seamaster is in relation to the, to the pier, there's also a couple things around there that are, that are nice and convenient. There is a mini mart that's only about 0.1 miles away. There is a grocery store that's about 1. miles away from from Seamaster, you actually would, you would go up into to Surfside to get to that very nice grocery store. Um, and the closest, uh, what was the other thing I wanted to 
of her old build, the marsh wall, just a couple staples, the marsh wall is about 4.4 miles away. So just wanted to be able to give you an idea of where the location is. Now, going back, I said there are both oceanfront and um, ocean view units. Uh, the units are ranging from two to three bedrooms. Uh, obviously, the direct oceanfront units are going to come at typically at a higher price tag than the ocean view units. Um, and Seamaster does offer some great amenities. Uh, there's a nice swimming pool, uh, direct oceanfront swimming pool. Um, one of the features I think is neat is you actually catch a little shade during the day because of how it's positioned in between the buildings. Um, I've got some video, as always, uh, that I'm going to feature right after I, you hear me talk today and, and check that out to get a better idea of what that pool looks like, the beach and all that good stuff. Um, Seamaster has an elevator, which is a very, very nice feature. And, and you probably know if you've been searching that not all the buildings in this area have the elevator. Most of the high rise buildings do obviously, but the, the lower rise buildings of only, you know, three to, to, to five floors will typically, a lot of those don't have elevators, Seamaster does. So that's a nice feature worth noting. If you're considering Seamaster as a rental investment, from a rental perspective, obviously an elevator makes life easier on you, but from a rental perspective, they tend to rent better because uh, guests look for options like that, swimming pool, elevator, things like that. So Seamaster has a lot of things to offer guests. And um, as part of that, the rental returns are, are, uh, are you can, you'll see it reflected in your rate of return. So, uh, reach out if you have questions about that. There's a lot to talk about when, it, when, it, when we start getting into the rental process and, and what that whole uh, process looks like. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the HOA. A couple of the other things that are neat about Seamaster is actually the uh, you are allowed to have pets at Seamaster. That is something that uh, now the owners, not guests, not your guests, but the owners are allowed. Owners are allowed to have pets. There are some exclusions. Reach out to me for those. But that doesn't happen with all these buildings. Some of these buildings do not allow pets. So reach out if you'd like to know more about that. Uh, motorcycles are also allowed in Seamaster. That's another thing that some of the buildings vary with those restrictions. So you can have um, motorcycles at Seamaster. Last thing I want to cover, this is a big one. I think it's a very, uh, it, it could be something that's missed. You may not find in the listings and, and info online about how much of an asset this really is, but Seamaster actually owns a lot, a vacant lot next to an oceanfront lot next to the building, um, or I should say next to the beach access that separates the building. But there is a lot there for additional overflow parking. This is only for Seamaster residents and guests, and it's a wonderful feature as a lot of these buildings, you know, parking can, can be an issue during the busy summer months. So that overflow parking, I think, is a nice feature, nice asset, and something I wanted to mention. Now, what the future holds there, I can't tell you. Um, I don't know what will ever happen with that lot, if anything, but all I can tell you is that it's owned by Seamaster and it's overflow parking at the time of this video. Uh, if you have any other questions, guys, reach out. I'd love to address them, get you going in the right direction. Um, we'll jump into that video footage now. God bless.